morning guys happy 11 22 this is the day the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it and thank you lord for another year of life even if my age number is ugly and odd and prime 29 and guess what guys this will be my first 29th birthday and it'll be my only 29th birthday because i don't buy into society's always saying you're 29 stuff but yeah i'm 29 today i woke up with the migraine level and headache and trigeminal pain that I went to sleep with, which was pretty daggone severe. And I'm pushing through it. Would you know? I mean, I guess the cold pack kind of gives a little bit away, but I just took myself on some of my morning medications and I'm hoping that they will kick in. And the number one goal for my birthday today is to put the ornaments on the tree with Roger. I'm trying to vlog through the headache right now. And I've got the Christmas music on because I'm, I just want my mind to be as warm and fuzzy as it can be. I've been watching Hallmark Christmas movies. I told my immediate family that if I'm up to it and if they're available, I'm going to have Roger get some uh, red velvet cake and some just, you know, classic Neapolitan ice cream to satisfy everyone's taste buds. Um, except mine, obviously. I can't eat it, but that's okay. I just want to be able to enjoy company. And if I have to entice them with cake and ice cream, then I will. I'm just kidding. I don't have to have that to entice them as long as I'm able to have them come over. I'm super excited that Catherine and her husband, Adam, are in from Arizona for Thanksgiving. And I get to see my sister for the first time since August. And that's awesome. I need to work on pushing through this headache enough to get up and go to the bathroom, brush my teeth and stuff. Hopefully there will be some birthday footage later, but... If I'm able to do Christmas ornaments with Raj, that's the number one win. I would love to have my family over again, of course, if able. If none of those things are possible, then it still is the day the Lord has made, and I'll still rejoice and be glad in it, even though I'll be a little disheartened because I want to spend time with the people that I love. But guess what? Any day that you're alive, you can do that. So if I'm alive tomorrow, I can do it then. And today, I can still do it to the best of my ability, no matter what. But... I'm claiming at least the tree ornaments. I will see you guys later. I'm back for a second. I told Roger that I was having bed on your birthday. I had breakfast in bed on my birthday. Breakfast in bed. Yay! Roger brought it in to me. I was telling him that um, that I was having a hard time uh, pushing through, or that I need to get up or something. He he said, "Oh well, you know why? It's because." I haven't brought you breakfast in bed yet. And it took me a second because um, I'm not in exactly prime brain mode right now. But I realized he meant he was bringing my Kate Farms in. So that's a sign I need to get up and brush my teeth and do all that. Yeah, I try to push through this pain and hope that these supplements and stuff kick in within the next half hour to an hour or so. Because this is rough. But I'm going to do it. I just thought that was, that was fun to share with you guys. He brought me breakfast in bed this morning. Okay, guys, so I put some real clothes on. I took a shower two days in a row, which is a major accomplishment. I just wanted to feel freshly clean for my birthday, even if we aren't able to have family over later, which I'm still hoping is the case. Having a lot of stomach issues right now, so my heating pad is, like, my BFF. I'm getting ready to get my birthday breakfast finally set up. I know I've got Christmas colors on. My birthday is November 22nd, which is before Thanksgiving, but we're decorating the tree, so... That's what it is today. And let's be real. There's some people that have legit reasons for not really enjoying the Christmas season, and I'm not invalidating those, but unless you are one of those people, which if you are, my prayers go out to you. Um, but unless you are, then Christmas is it's about the joy of Jesus. And anything that we can do to remind us of that joy, even if it's wearing red and green, which doesn't directly signify it, but which reminds you of Christmas, which then reminds you of Jesus is, is good. Okay. I know it's a weird angle, and I know I'm waving scissors around, which is not smart. Kids, do not do that at home. Becca, do not do that at home anymore. But it's the best angle I could get for right now, and happy birthday to me. I'm pretty sure that my advent calendar came in the mail. Shout out to my friend Christina for letting me know that it was the only allergen-free slash allergy-friendly one, because we have a lot of the same food issues. And what's really cool that I love about it, they're only in the UK, so it got here in time, which is nice, but it's just cool to see Royal Mail as the 
stamp on there. I don't know. I just thought that was really cool because I love all things British. Let's go ahead and open that and see what that's like. Check it out. Allergen free advent calendar. Thanks for the tip, girl. Love you. Got to get back to Rusty now, so hopefully we can decorate this tree. Fun fact about this song, Christmas Waltz. My mom and I both, there's a certain instance where we always find ourselves singing it throughout the whole year, not just Christmas time. And it's just this song, and it's the same part of this song. But I want to go on a little rant about it, because the past few years it's really bugged me. The beginning where it says, Santa's filled his sleigh with things, thanks for you and for me. I don't get into the whole things thing. I mean, I like getting people gifts, obviously. And I'm not going to say that it's not nice to receive gifts when you need and or there's something you want. However, that's really like, the song's like, oh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. But then the very beginning says, Santa's filled his sleigh with things, thanks for you and for me. And hashtag Christmas materialism. But guess what? It's still this song of mine in three quarter time. My girl Karen. Well, it's time to decorate the tree. Christmas. Yep. Yeah. That's the Christmas spirit essential oil. Yeah. So, happy birthday, Beck. Yay. I did a little decorating for you. Guys, I have no idea what I'm about to see, by the way. It's nothing spectacular, but it just, it just should make you happy. Aww, he got a Pokemon Happy Birthday banner. Yeah. Oh, Oh, from Walker Racing. Oh, be careful. Gotta catch a roll. Oh my gosh. So, how old are you turning? Nine? I am oh, 29. Plus 20. Okay. And hey, I couldn't find you. Uh, you, you asked for pink uh, napkins, but I couldn't find any, so I just got you this. Um, Even better. Because it matches the banner and Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. Duh. Guys. Wrong with it. it's awesome. Seriously, this is awesome. Cool. I, I thought you liked it. Down. I know it's little things. See, here's the thing, guys. It's it's when we say it's little things, it really is. Like, it's a birthday banner and napkins and plates that he got for when my family hopefully comes over later. That just puts a bigger smile on my face today more than anything, other than decorating the tree with him. Tree. <laughs> All right. All right. More later. Yeah. Time to decorate his tree. I'm not going to keep doing this, but I wanted to show you guys. This is the first ornament I've hung on the tree every year since second grade. So I brought it when Roger and I got married. Now we're going to enjoy decorating without paying attention to you all. Finally! So. I just wanted to tell them about the one. Let's go. You don't want to have so much said it is decorated it is finished he said oh hold on a sec wrong holiday All right. so our tree's decorated guys i know you just saw it but there it is i'm talking over top of the music so it hopefully hopefully doesn't copyright stricken and yay jj heller christmas album that's what we're playing right now i'm gonna go rest so i can hopefully be up for my family coming over and they're gonna have cake and ice cream and i've got mine right here oh god hold on fall down
It keeps not focusing. Because it's dark in here. But it keeps focusing and going out of focus. Okay, whatever. See you guys later. So I'm barefoot. My family's here for my birthday. Get her. Just want to say hi from the birthday beagle. She rarely joins her mom in the sea, but today she wanted to. And the whole family's over, so. Don't growl, Lucy. Birthday success so far. Mm. Nope. Oh, no, good girl. Okay. So I'm here with my family and my newly fashion walker, courtesy of Duct Tape and Roger and Walmart. Good morning, we're seeing it. Here's your cake. Get ready to get my cake. And. Don't drop it. Just give me this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't want it lit. So we're not actually. We're just the same. Nah. We're fake lighting candles. Okay. So tell me when. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Becca. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. And a nice little fake candle blow up. Hey everybody from Jones, and cake for everyone, and backpacking for Becca. We are good to go. I'm spending a day with my family. Woo. My family's telling stories. Oh, I like the Pokemon place. And I was what? You know, the banner's Pokemon too. Where? In my living room. Hi, little It's up there. Oh, I just got one. Oh, yeah, you got it today. Yeah, guys, I just want to take a minute and say that I'm thankful for the ability to be out here with my family at all today, just to spend time. I don't care that they're all eating cake and ice cream and stuff, it doesn't bother me one bit. I'm just glad to spend time with them. But I'm out here in the recliner, with my red and green on, matching my red and green walker. Successful day so far. The ornaments on the tree up there. See you guys later. Two cards in here. One's from Manny. Okay, and then this is from me. Okay. Nice. Is there a card in here? Yep. Okay. It's tucked in the side. I feel. I didn't tuck it out the top because the pinks clash. I appreciate that. She knows me well. It is a, a necklace with the outline of the state of Kentucky and all it's backwards with the camera. There you go. No, no, wait. Yes. You're right. That's right for the camera. That's yeah. backwards. That's backwards. That's backwards. backwards. I was looking at it towards me. Okay, yeah. There you go. You're not the a camera. teacher, are you? Shut you learn how to hold things backwards. Oh my gosh, That's true. I love it. Look Full it. disclosure yesterday, I have to tell the story. I called Roger and I said, Does Becca, and let me tell the whole story before you correct me because you don't understand. It. Well, I said, first I said, does Becca have one of those home t-shirts with Kentucky on it? And then he said, and then he said, I think she does. And I said, she does because I got it for her for Christmas last year. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she wore it a few days ago. I'm going to put that up for now. Wait, what? Josh thought I forgot it and got, got it in the airport when I got here. <laughs> I got it yesterday. Holly Bean, Becca is for you. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would have done. Okay, okay you're your daughter. Oh, I know sometimes you watch my videos, Nanny, so if you watch this one, I love you, and I'll see you probably before you see this video, if you ever do. That's a, that seemed like a backhanded Nanny Slam to me. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's because I'm like three days behind. I forgot that. I forgot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Open mouth, insert foot twice now. But they don't come up as high. Yes, it is. Mom, but you can like any yeah, yeah, that's a mean bad. Hey, by the way, um, remember I don't go all out for birthday. Lucy. I didn't want anything at all. I know you didn't. I really did want a sweater. I know you didn't. But I bought it before you ever said that. Sorry. I love the way we alter cards in this family. Like it's something new. Like yeah. it's just normal. I love it. It says my daughter. My daughter uh, my daughter, I saw it during market hour. Where is mine? Mine? I know. My you can just put my daughter like right. you're both saying. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No. Idiot. <laughs> the English major fully endorses the cross out and the pronoun. 
Because there was a mini mouse in my head. We've got several ones. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Five eyes change to we. One eye change to we're. And one eye change to we're. Oh, once again. Beautiful you. <laughs> and you have I'm birthday. Sick of I'm like, on my I'm are, are, are you verklempt? Huh? Are you verklempt? There's two things. Okay, which one is there? Is there a reason why? There's a the shirt and there's a plaque in there. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. And hey, it's you, nothing you ask for. That's fine. Is that what you were asking me? You said ask. ask. Oh, oh, you said ask. ask. Oh, what what do you ask? You did. For <laughs> somebody else. <laughs> it's nothing you ask for. It's nothing you ask for. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh my god. So. Okay, Let's see it. This is going to go somewhere prominent in the bedroom where I can see it because it says this day is part of a, in parentheses, totally larger plan. And that is so true. You all know that I do that a lot. And you guys think that is perfect. I don't know. Where in the world this is that? It's like the office. Soft. Okay, so one, this is super this soft and sensory friendly, so yay, two, <laughs> it has one of the best messages in the world, faith can move mountains. Faith moves mountains. And that's what we claim on this channel every day when we say this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it in the faith regardless. Although it's really let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let her have her moment. Okay, I have the material is perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you were perfect. Everybody, uh, it was perfect. I really did not want a single thing for my birthday. I really didn't. This is, this is what I wanted for my birthday. Yeah. Yeah, right. Everybody says that, but do they really mean it? Yes, that's, I really meant it. No, please, don't get me anything. What's this? Who's this from? Don't make me sing. Don't make me sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll sing. Just sign off right and put the camera down. He's, you're not his real dad. She is my boss. <laughs> Mom, That's pretty Roger, true. and Adam and Catherine from Arizona, and Dad now, and I'm here in the chair, but Emily and Josh just birthday left. Birthday Survivor. Yes, Birthday <laughs> Survivor. Never done this. Birthday Survivor. <laughs> Pull it over here with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to... Lucy well, never takes her tail, guys. She never does this. She wants to sit and chew on it. One of the many reasons I love you is you think to do stuff like that. Oh, and it goes right there, almost in the middle of our, uh-oh, of our Minnie and Mickey Disney World honeymoon hats. Happy birthday! Thank you, baby! Seriously, thank you. That's really awesome. I can't feel much right now, guys. I just wanted to say I'm back in my old comfy, tattered, and torn pajama shirt and my music note pants because they're soft and I'm crashed. I'm... So thankful that I was able to spend that time with my family and that my um, all of my immediate family, as far as parents and siblings, were able to come over and um, just kind of spend some time with us. It was wonderful, as you saw. That's just the biggest blessing I could have asked for today. So I'm probably going to lay here and hopefully doze off, but probably have Christmas movies on while I do it because, duh. See you guys later. Do it all this your face when all this is going on, it's always like. <laughs> <laughs>